So earlier this week I did a video on the possibility of Ricardo joining Mercedes as a reserve driver next season. Since then, it's fair to say there's been quite a few developments, including a new update from Mercedes team boss Toto Wolff in Italy. But before we take a look at what's been said, if you enjoy the video make sure to leave a like, and also subscribe for more Formula 1 content, and you can follow me on Twitter at James underscore Formula 1, and there'll be a link in the description. So in a nutshell, this all started when Ricardo was heard talking in Zandvoort about taking a sabbatical in 2023 before returning to the grid in 2024. Then in an interview, he was quoted as saying that he's open to taking a reserve driver role if it makes the most sense for his career. And after rumours emerged that he could join Mercedes as a reserve next year, the Daily Mail have reported that Mercedes are now seriously considering this as an option. The publication states that Ricardo is under consideration to come in as Lewis Hamilton's replacement in 2024, should he leave at the end of 2023 when his contract expires. A source told the Daily Mail, Mercedes are thinking about Ricardo to cover off the possibility of walking away at the end of next season. Having Daniel in their camp means they wouldn't be left high and dry, it would also mean George would be the main man from that point in 2024. Now Hamilton did play this down, saying that he loves what he's doing and doesn't plan on stopping anytime soon. However, when asked about Mercedes links, Ricardo simply said no comment, which does suggest they had ended discussions. Ricardo added, The truth is I'm keeping every option open, not only for next year but for the future. So it's definitely heating up, and Mercedes driver George Russell has also said he's keen on having Ricardo at Mercedes, saying a driver of his calibre joining the team in any capacity would be a real boost. But the final decision on this does lie with the boss, and Toto Wolff has now broken his silence on what's happening with Ricardo. Now right now there are only two realistic places Ricardo can go, that being Haas and Williams, and honestly either in my opinion would not be a good move for his career, as both teams currently don't have the resources to fight for the title, and it's a backward step from McLaren. Now Alpine is also an option, although Pierre Gasly is the favourite for the seat, and Alpine have been in discussions with Red Bull over releasing the AlphaTauri driver, but should that fall through, Ricardo could very well be considered, although Alpine say the team have a long list of drivers to choose from. Now should Alpine want Ricardo next year, then I'd say it's worth going for given it's more of a sideways step from McLaren, and Alpine a better position to fight for the title in the future rather than Hassel Williams. But it looks unlikely that the seat could open for him, therefore taking a sabbatical next year and keeping himself in the loop as a reserve could be the best move for Daniel, as an attractive offer could come his way for 2024. But like drivers have said, Wolf believes Ricardo is deserving of a place on the grid next year, but he didn't rule out the Australian coming to Mercedes in 2023. He was quoted as saying, Let's wait and see. We haven't progressed with talks. It also depends on what happens in the driver market with other places. So in a nutshell, Ricardo and Mercedes aren't ruling out teaming up next year. But what do you think will happen? Let me know in the comments below. But that's going to be the video from me today. Thank you ever so much for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe for more videos. And until the next one, take care. Bye.